Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I have a scrapbook.com haul for you guys. So what I purchased here was a bunch of stuff to use for journaling, planning, and scrapbooking, and mostly journaling, but you can use this stuff for anything. I thought it would be a lot of fun to share. Um, let's see, I actually have not looked in here, so let me see, do I have an invoice? I should probably remove that if I do, because it would have my address on it. Aha, uh -huh, I see it. Okay, hold on, let me, let me pull that out real quick. The invoice is mixed in with um, some of my, my goodies here. So, okay, I've removed that. So we are just going to go through this whole box together. Actually, what I'm gonna do is move the box out of the way and then just kind of show you everything. So the thing that was right on the top was this collection. This is the Pack Your Bags collection from Cartabella. And let's see, what does it say here? Kit contains 12 double-sided pages. It also has stickers. I can show you the sticker sheet right there. I actually got this because we just recently went on a trip to New York City. And I fell in love with this little snow globe right here with the Statue of Liberty and the taxi and stuff. But, um, what I want to do with this is actually make a separate travel journal for our trip to New York. So that's what that is for. And now let's look at this. This is where my invoice was. So we have, whew, oh, this is cute. Splash into summer, lemonade five cents per cup. So Echo Park, Echo Park makes really cute stuff. And I might have to order some of it. So that's a little brochure about that. I picked up two Echo Park stencils because I actually have um, acrylic paint and I have Distress Ink and I have um, Gelatos. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to start trying to use some stencils and use those supplies that I have to kind of make backgrounds for my journals. So I had to get this one. This is from the Wish Upon a Star collection and it's supposed to be like Disney World or Disneyland and we love to go there. So I thought that one would be a lot of fun. And then this is from the same collection. It's the fireworks. And this doesn't necessarily have to be fireworks. They call it Magical Sky. I just think it would be fun to use as backgrounds. So I thought it would be pretty universal. Then I ordered a bunch of single sheets of paper so they send some cardstock so they don't get bent, which that's nice. And for some reason, it looks like I ordered another sticker sheet from the Cartabella. I don't know why. That's the same sticker sheet that was in the collection, but you know what, I'll use it because it's really cute and we travel a lot, so that'll work. I also picked up the sticker sheet from Summer Splash. And I thought this one is really cool. We're hoping to go to the beach um, at the end of this summer, so I thought this would be fun to kind of make another traveler's notebook insert that was just specifically for the beach trip. And then here is the Disney themed one. It's the Wish Upon a Star collection and it's just really cute. They're cardstock stickers, they're nice. So <clears throat> I think all this paper is, well, I have Wish Upon a Star and I have Magical Wonder. So I got two sheets, no, three, four sheets of this. It's double-sided, so this side is red and white polka dots and then this side is amazing. Again, I wanted to use it as covers. I make my own traveler's notebook inserts. So um, I'm gonna use it for that, but you could also cut this up for um, scrapbooking or planning. This one is adorable. I did not realize that this side had hearts with arrows and it looks like Mickey Mouse. I actually bought it for this side, which is all the little tickets. Now this side is cool because again, you could use it just as is, or you could cut, <coughs> excuse me guys, you could cut all these little tickets out and use as ephemera. Next up, I have four of this one. So it's, <clears throat> sorry guys, something got in my throat. I have black and white polka dot on that side. And then I loved this side. It's like all the little badges or buttons. 
and it's just really awesome. Again, you could cut these out if you wanted as well. It would be really easy to do with a circle punch. And then the last ones, these say Magical Wonder. So this side just has really colorful polka dots. And I bought it for this side because I loved all the cameras. Okay, we have all kinds of packing bubbles. And, oh, I forgot I ordered this. <laughs> okay. I have the Heidi Swap. It says for use with the memory planner. It just says one journal. I thought this was like going to be a traveler's notebook size. Let's go ahead and open it and see. It's obviously holographic. It seems a little shorter to me than a standard. Actually, it is. It is smaller than a standard size traveler's notebook, but it does, you know, it's shaped like a traveler's notebook. So if you guys have one of these and are familiar with the size, let me know. Um, it has just a blank insert here, but it's definitely an odd size. I'm not, not sure about that, but it's really pretty. So um, yeah, if you know what size inserts fit in this, if you could let me know in the comments, I would appreciate it. And Oh my goodness, then I got this. <laughs> so this is the personal planner from Heidi Swap. It is pink and glittery. I thought it was just the cover I was buying, but apparently it is the entire planner. So let me slice this open so we can take a look at this. I really just wanted it for the cover because I don't use a big planner. I use a Hobonichi Weeks for my daily planning, and I just wanted this cover. So it's super glittery and pink, and the nice thing about this is you don't feel all the glitter. Like, it's not rough and bumpy. It's super smooth, which I appreciate. And it is the entire planner, so Let's go ahead and remove the cardboard out of here so we can take a look at it. Let's see. We're just going to make this easier. I like how it's packaged so everything arrives nicely. Oh, that's why it won't pull off. It's actually attached. So let's remove that cardboard and take a look. So there are gold rings inside. We have a couple little pockets here that you can tuck things into. It says collect beautiful moments. So let's see, is it undated? There's January's divider. It is undated, wow. So you can use this any year, that's really cool. So it's just a weekly Life is good. This is for February. I like the little to-do. Here's the plan. You have your sheets. It does say week of February, but then you just write in whatever week. And I like those little quotes. Be silly, be honest, be kind. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Each page has a different quote. So I like that. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. Jane Austen. So let's just look at all the dividers really quick. Ooh, that one's pretty. Very nice, black striped. So I don't know if I'm going to use these inserts as a planner. Um, perhaps not. Collect beautiful moments, but it is really pretty. Now, if you don't want to use something like this as the planner that says love, laugh, love, repeat, I like that. You could, you know, cut these pieces up and use them in your journals or scrapbooking projects as well. So it won't go to waste. Okay, and then it looks like in the back there's a, um, a bookmark divider, fill today with love. So that's really cute. I was not expecting that. I thought, like I said, that I was just buying this cover and I have to come up with a good use for it because it is pink, it is beautiful, and it won't go back in here. <laughs> it's just awesome. So there's that. I have another kit here. This is the Summer Splash Kit from Cartabella. So are those the stickers I got? 
I don't think so. It is, it's the same stickers. I don't know why I bought the sheet of stickers. Anyway, this is the 12 by 12 papers again. There are the papers that you get in the collection. And if you wanna see the papers, I'm sure there are flip throughs on eBay of all the papers in the kits. I'm not opening all the kits up unless you want me to. Um, I can do that, but I figure there are probably lots of flip throughs already on YouTube. So this is the Alice in Wonderland collection by Echo Park. And again, here are little um, images of the papers. And then I like the like die cut cards. Here is the sticker sheet. It's very, very cute. And one more paper collection, the Wish Upon a Star collection. So we saw some of these papers already because I bought some of them individually. And then there are the cards and of course the sticker sheet. And then we have a little envelope baggie here, a little paper bag. Let's see what we have in here. It's cute, I like the way they package the stuff. Okay, so I have a package of the Pack Your Bags Ephemera by Cartabella, and these are the shapes that you get inside. And I just thought these would be good to go with the kit for my journal. Here's the Summer Splash Ephemera Pack. So those are the ones you get inside. And they're a really um, nice size. I like that. I have the Traveler's Notebook Ephemera. So this is, is it just, okay, so it's, it's Wish Upon a Star. This goes with the Disney collection. Love those. And then here's another Wish Upon a Star Ephemera pack. I love all these little die cut shapes. They just make a really good addition to um, journals and planners. And then I picked up the Pack Your Bags stamp set by Cartabella because again, the little snow globe with the Statue of Liberty, I loved it. I love the plane. I can use that to stamp in my planner. Here's another plane up here. It has a rival. Does it have departure? It does not. But it has a suitcase that says New York, take the scenic route. It just has some really cute stamps. So here are the stamps. So I thought that was awesome. And then I have two more bags in here. Oh yes, okay. So these are by Echo Park. They're the brand new Traveler's Notebook collection. So is it, yeah, Wish Upon a Star. This is the daily calendar inserts. Oh, these are awesome, you guys. So here's the first one with the tickets. And whoa, look at this calendar. It's like one page for each number. I like that it is not um, set to a specific month. You could use whatever month you want and it goes up through 31 days. So you can put your day up here. You have a bunch of lines to write and a box down here at the bottom to decorate. And then you have a whole page over here. I actually think this insert would be really cute for doing like a daily journal. So you could put some pictures here of what happened during your day and then write about it. That would be really awesome. And then we have this one, which is the same thing. Okay, so you get two of them. That would be so cool though, to use like as a Project 365 kind of thing. Um, I have a lot of ideas running around in my head now that would work for that. Um, okay, we'll put those away later. And next, this is the blink inserts. This is mouse and me blink inserts. So here is Mickey Mouse balloon paper, and it's just blank inside. Now you can make your own traveler's notebook inserts. That's why I bought some of the paper, but it's actually really cute when they're just made for you as well. So again, just another blank one with the dots. And then these say blank as well. So 
So we have, oh, I like that. I thought it was just black and white stripe, but it's make your own magic. And this one with the super cute like badge or button paper. And I have one more package here. It looks like it's more inserts. So let's see, let's stay on the Disney theme. I got two packs of those blank ones, so we won't open that one. This is Traveler's Notebook lined inserts, and it's Mouse and Me. So the first one looks like Mickey Mouse, and it does just have lined paper inside. And then a plaid, which is really cute. And another pack of lined inserts. This is the Wish Upon a Star. The first one is a bunch of castles. And then this one is like the fireworks. And that's again just lined. And then last thing I got, these um, two Traveler's Notebook inserts. These are by Webster's Pages. And... I think it, so it says one is lined and one is blank. So we have the trees, that one is lined. It has a cute inside cover. And then the little houses is just blank, but it has this really pretty cover inside. So that is my haul, you guys. There's a ton of stuff there. Um, sorry, it's kind of out of shot now. There we go. Let me know what your guys' favorite scrapbooking company is. Like, what product do you like the best? You know, is it Echo Park? Is it Simple Stories? Heidi Swap? There are so many to choose from. Um, let me know that down in the comments. Maybe I'll find something else I need to buy. <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I will see you guys in the next video.